In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a Dell Latitude keyboard. This is the Latitude E6510. This is the exact same instructions for the 6400 series as well as the 6500 series. Just to let you know, the 6400 series is slightly different but almost identical. So to begin with, what you need is a flat screwdriver as well as a star head. So I've got a multi-tool right here and let's go ahead and begin. So first of all, you need to obviously get a replacement keyboard. So this keyboard here, as you can tell, some of these buttons um, are missing. Uh, so what we're going to do is take out this entire keyboard and replace it with a brand new one. So we've gone ahead and we've already purchased one. Now one thing to note about this keyboard is, unlike older keyboards, um, if you've ever had to replace a keyboard before, um, the older keyboards actually had multi, multiple connectors that you would have to um, connect in. With the new keyboards, not so much. It basically is a card that plugs directly into the, uh, the system itself. So here is uh, the keyboard as it is there. Um, you do have a, a trackpad there, so we'll go ahead and uh, assemble this now. So just to show you what it looks like, um, I mentioned the, uh, the card. This here is basically the card that plugs into the board, which is right here. So to begin with, what you're going to need is that flat screwdriver. And right over here, which is the top bezel, where your light indicators are, as well as your speaker controls. What you're going to do is take your, your flathead and just slide it underneath there and pry it up. Once you pry it up, what's going to happen is you'll see that it's coming up there. What you're going to do is you're going to go along this and just gently pull it up. Okay. Once you get it up, you'll see on the back there's just a couple of clips there. Those are unscathed, so those are still in good condition. We're going to then put that aside, and you'll see underneath there are two screws. What you're going to do is unscrew those. Basically, that is what's holding in the keyboard. So you're going to unscrew each one of those, making sure you don't lose those screws. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is just slightly lift the keyboard. There we go. Now it may feel that you're, you may feel you're bending the keyboard, which is perfectly fine. And then, as you bend it, you're going to pull it upwards. Once you pull it upwards, it will come out of its slot, just like so. And then you can take this and put that aside. Then you'll see the internals of your actual system, somewhat internals. So you'll see here is the fan and other components. We're not going to worry about that for now. What we're going to do is basically take the new keyboard and slide that in place. Once it's in there, you just want to press down on it, making sure that each one of your connections are in, nice and firm. You want to be careful when you are pressing it in, that you are pressing it and not catching one of these uh, buttons, because it will basically pop up and break your keyboard again. Once you've done that, then what you're going to do is your screws back in. Anybody watching the video is probably going to say, haha, you forgot to put the screws in just now, you almost put the be bezel in. Well, yes, I almost did. Let's go ahead and screw that in there. And then one more screw.
Once you've done that, then you can take your bezel and you can slide that back in. When you're sliding it back in, make sure you, you do, it, do it from the opposite end. So you're sliding it in from this end over here, pressing it down, and basically just going across. And there you go. Replaced. Easy as, well, one, two, three. All right, that's it. That concludes this video. If you like this video, please give me a, a thumbs up. If you have any questions about it, please do post it. Thanks again for watching.